doing bus stop uh, is something I've been looking forward to since since well since we um, launched this idea about a, a year ago um, because it's a it's a great play it's a it's a classic it's one of those those wonderful plays where every single character is a universe um, into themselves and the story just works like gangbusters. I mean, I've seen productions, I've never actually had the pleasure of directing Inge before, but it's, it's one of those things where you just have to do it well and not get in its way. I was here for one brief day to audition people in, in Kansas City and was, was blown away by the talent in this town and, you know, went in thinking, well, we're going to try and cast a big play and I hope we... I hope there's somebody to match up for all of the roles in this play, and then really had to make a lot of hard choices to figure out which of what you know great actors who matched up for the parts to take. And um, and you guys were the best. We wanted this set to, I think, to reflect the bus stop that that Inge intended. That it is a a meager place. That it's not at all our warm nostalgic ideal of a 1950s diner or a, a sort of wholesome small town back when everything was perfect kind of place. It is what it is. Like there's, there's no internal bathroom. Like you gotta go out, you gotta traipse through the snow to use the outhouse. And I mean that both literally and emotionally in this world. It's, it's a transient place. You're supposed to stop here, get a, a stale donut. If you want cheese, you're not gonna get it because we don't have any. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you'll be gone in, in 20 minutes. Um, and the event of the play is a bunch of people get stuck in a place like that and have to actually live there with each other, with this world as it really is, and, and deal with each other. In the transition from one to two, the masking will fly out and you will briefly see Grace's apartment in which Grace and Carl are having some sort of moment, which we will all discover together um, as the snow blows outside. The fight will happen right out, outside, but we have these great huge windows, so we'll be able to see all of it. Though they might disappear for a moment and you'll be very afraid and you'll see them, you know, fight by and, and maybe there'll be somebody hurled on top of a, of a pickup truck. And then to have these plays that are of that world and of that, of that period that I think look, look quite starkly on us human beings with all of our flaws and desires and complexities and and I think even I think that's what keeps them exciting and fresh as you read them now and there's something shocking about them because people do things you don't quite expect people to do in plays but they do things that people do in life which to me is a good play.